Greetings, friendly people. How is everyone doing? I thought today would be a fun idea, since I haven't picked up one of these things in a million years, to add to the massive Pearl Jam playlist on this channel by learning to play Immortality on the ukulele. Actually, it wasn't my idea. It was my friend Sid's idea. Thank you for the cool idea, Sid. Here we go. Just to review, for myself mostly, the ukulele strings are Guys Can Eat Anything, G, C, E, A, and we've got a problem with the very first chord right off the bat. When you translate a six string thing to a four string thing, sometimes things get a little muddled and you'll have a choice you get to make. Anyways, the first chord Eddie plays is C add nine, which is the notes C, E, D, and G, and we can get that done. This is the G string, right? The second fret of the C string would be a D, and then we've got an E, and then the third fret of the A string would be a C. So this is technically a C add nine, but it doesn't sound much like immortality. Right, you could pluck it. Or you could just play regular C, which is just that one, and that's the one I'm gonna pick. You could strum it into E minor, that is two, three, four in that direction, or you could pluck it, which I think sounds better in this case. Or you could do this, which isn't even the right note or anything, but I think sounds more like immortality. Just pluck down your strings. Oops, wrong chord. Just pluck down your strings, pull off that last string, hit your E string before you go into your E minor chord. That's my choice. Now, curiously, the last time they hit that E minor, on the record anyways, it's an E major, which is four, 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 two, but that note's a repeat as you hear, so you could do that if you're a crazy person, or you could just do like one finger across the fourth fret of the three strings closest to your face, let's say. And now we have, see, however you wanna do it, E minor, twice, three times, fourth time is E major. You could just play E minor if you want, that's how they do it live, but on the record it is E major the last time. The verse, I'm pleased to report, is only two chords. That's great news for a Wednesday. It's E minor, which you already know and D, which is our that shape, but on the second fret. Again, you could do two, 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 open, but you hear that that note and that note are the same note, and that's much easier to do, so I'm opting for two, 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 nothing. Or you could do two, 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 five, if you like that high note in your ukulele rendition of Immortality. I'll show you both ways. E minor, D, or E minor, D, what else you can do? Here it comes. You can just keep strumming away and put that pinky finger down on the A string fifth fret, or you can hammer on pull off two five two. Truant finds home, we're going to see A for the first time. A is two, one, open, open. It's gonna come right at the very end. Here we go, C, E minor. Twice. And then, C, E minor, A. And you can. Just add that C string second fret for the A suspended four want. The solo has two sections to it. The first bunch of it is the E minor D situation. But when it speeds up, it doesn't speed up tempo-wise, but it just gets more intense, right? You know the spot. It becomes switching the chords twice as often, E minor D, E minor C. Bunch of time. 
rhymes and then it ends on A. And of course, you can do that thing again. By the way, E minor D, E minor C, Lucan. And I want to illustrate that point that the tempo doesn't change there. I'm going to count and do the two sections and you're going to see the speed of the song doesn't change, but the chords switch twice as often and the strumming becomes faster. But the BPM, beats per minute, doesn't change. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Switching to three. pieces. So go use your tympanic membrane balls and figure out which one goes where when. Thanks so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.